Okay, we are back with the Cliffside Realm. Um, out of the tracks that we've done, you might have, you should have Chicane now. Ice Realm isn't that bad. Um, so now you should actually have Chicane. You should have Synchro because it started with a baseline. If you're just doing the Cliffside tutorial now, you probably don't have it. Power Rage is a finder car, so you might not have that. Uh, it doesn't matter if you do, you probably shouldn't be driving it. Uh, Jackhammer you might have from Water Realm. It's not good for any track that I've found, but I haven't really tested it a lot. I tested it like two times and it stopped. So I got rid of it. Power Bob is a default. The car's not very good for this track anyway. Spine Buster you might have if you've done Storm Realm. It is a hard realm, I understand, if you haven't. Road Rider is another finder car. It's a bit of one of the harder ones. Not as hard as Power Rage, but it's a bit hard to find. So you probably don't have it. Um, if you do, that's good. It's a good car. Flathead Fury is nice. Uh, you should have this by now. Iridium you should have by now. Cover Lights are maybe. It's a bit hard to find, but if you've got it, cool. Technetium is an easier one to get. Metalwood is a hard one to get, so it's fine. So it's the Sweeper. Uh, Night Burner would be good. RDO6 is good. Personally, I th feel like Chicane is a really nice one for this track. You should hopefully have it, just because Ice Realm is a little easier to do. So we're going to move on to the cliffside rail, and hopefully at this point you do have this car. If not, Synchro is fine. Um, any car should theoretically be fine. Flathead Fury, Spy Buster, Spy Buster's a good one. Just don't do anything irrational. you want to slow down a lot coming up here, because there's just this little bump here. You'll easily lose control, you'll bounce, and you'll throw your car. Now, the loop, you're going to need to just keep steering right because it will try and take your car left. Get a little bit slow, always when we're on a loop, just that little bit of nitrox. Now, as soon as you come out, you can see the track again, just slam that brake. Slow right down because this quarter sucks if you're at speed. Now, it's not too bad here, it's going to tighten up a bit. So it does get a little tighter, just let go of the accelerator if you're not comfortable. This section isn't too bad. Now once you do get better at it and you do want to start actually making your tyres squeal and doing this drift thing, this track is a great one to learn on. Uh, but if you don't mean it, if it's not intentional, avoid it. Just get out of it as soon as you can. Just let go of the accelerator and slam that brake. A little bit of nitrox will save you a lot of the lost time you lose by stopping. Uh, and you won't need too much nitrox for this track, in theory. And if you're lucky, you can land the skip. I was not lucky. Uh, what's a good car for this? I'm gonna go with Nightburner. Now I'm assuming you have it, you might not. If you don't, whatever car you want is fine. It's not too essential as to what car you've got, but it really helps to have a nice one to drive. And this is one of the nicest to drive. The most bothersome part about this, see that, too much speed, and it ruins me. Too much speed. Something just grippy. That's what we need. We need grippy, but we don't have grippy. <coughs> so we're going to go for something insane. Uh, too much speed at the start there will ruin you. Uh, the biggest issue with this track is that it's tedious. It is so tedious. It just takes a long time to do. We're fine there. That skip isn't too hard to do, but honestly, like, it's just as easy to fail as the loop. So you may as well just learn to loop. Um, and as long as you're willing to nitrox on the loop, you're fine. If you get too slow, just nitrox yourself back to safety. Slow it down. Coming out of the loop, we don't want to come into this corner with too much speed. 
all straightforward stuff. Feel free to take shortcuts if you want to on this map. Um, as long as you're not doing a speed run um, of a no cut, that's fine. You just gotta like pick your battles. You gotta pick the right spots to cut. Let's see if we can find a nice one. That's not a nice one. And this isn't really a good car to cut, but we're gonna give it a shot. Hop it in reverse and see if we can boost ourselves onto the track, which we could. <laughs> I turned up this car. This track is just a bit difficult sometimes. Um, I'm going to use, I need to be showing you guys using cars that we have. Did I not use any of the basic cars? I think I used them all. So that's alright. So we're going to use Power Bob here. Hopefully this works out a little better for us. Um, generally, trying to do cuts is a bit rough. So try to avoid doing them. Unless you're just really struggling. Like, it's for when you're really struggling with the track that you want cuts. Except for this first cut. <coughs> Feel free to do this as much as you like. Oh, I shifted up instead of down. I'm not going to reset, like restart the race. I'm just going to reset. Uh, that was just bad driving. I'll be honest. I tried to do Luca, and as I said, like the cuts are harder than the track. So yeah, they save you time, which is fine if you're getting frustrated with it. See, that was a smoother cut, saving a lot of time, but. But honestly, I failed it the first time, so I've just lost as much as I've saved. <laughs> Having the camera on this angle is okay for this track. You just got to be willing to put it back. You want to have that camera out a little bit not too much just makes it a little easier to see a little more of the corner and generally the corners have the same angle for a few corners in a row so having that little bit of an angle on your camera means that you can just keep taking those corners the same way I find it helps me it helps especially if you're trying to learn how to drift um, Obviously you'd need a car like Baseline, it's probably the best one to learn how to drift in, rather than Powerbomb. Powerbomb is not a drift car. Now here we have the Spiral. This is an awful part to drive, um, just because it is the same thing on repeat. Like, look how many smiles down I've got to go. Awful. Um, you can pull a vert, just jump off the edge. I don't recommend it. say back and forward back and forward and then we cross and do it the opposite way go across here spin that camera up and then we do it again this direction for a bit I believe yeah it's just that tiny bit tedious and like it's very easy to get yourself bored with this track so you could race it you know I've been here for three and a half minutes and I'm a little over it. Oh. 
All right, here we're coming into a long straight. Feel free to straighten your camera up and just nitrox this section. Just make some distance and then get on that brake. Don't turn too sharp. It's so easy to throw yourself off the track turning too sharp. Then we come into another straight section. Go for it. Nitrox again. You do want to save it for the triple loop coming up. You want to have just a little bit so you can burst through it if you need to. Anything you have left over, feel free to use to hit that finish line. Skies look beautiful out there. Uh, feel free to nitrox here if you want to accelerate to your death. Now this is the hard, this is another hard part of the track. Don't think of this as a triple loop. Think of this as three singular loops. So let's go into the first loop. We go up, we take it easy, we take it easy. We're safe. Slow down. Now we go for the second loop. Just holding the accelerator, trying to do all three at once is so much harder. It's wonky. And we come down and we're safe. Now we do the last loop. Do you all three together sucks. There we go. It's not a glorious time, but it is nonetheless a time. A 520, that's with a reset. So it's doable, it's just it's a harder track. It is a much harder track, it's easy to make mistakes, easy to get yourself tired, which I have, I feel wrecked after that track. I don't know why. Concentrating has taken it out of me. Um, so I think all we have left from here is the desert realm for now. Um, this is a hard one. I can't guarantee I can do it. It took me 16 minutes the one time I finished it. I will do it. I will do the tutorial for this one. It's just going to take a little longer for me to get it finished to come out. And then we're going to try a tutorial on the ultimate race. This is for the bold. And this one, I'm going to assume you have every car. Because you should not be trying the ultimate race until you are confident enough to have gotten every car and confident with what you're doing. But, regardless, that was the cliffside route. And hopefully, hopefully you've got baseline. It's a shame if you do, because like, it's not too big a deal if you don't have it, because it is hard to drive. Uh, if you can beat that track, then maybe you might be comfortable driving a car this difficult but if you can't even finish if you can't finish cliffside realm baseline's too complex for you anyway as cool as the car is so hopefully you've got it uh, if not just keep trying you'll get there